this is a Pixel 5a and it is actually working if you watch when the screen is not colorful snow it has you know the boot screen and so forth and if you hold the power button down you can have the power off button and so forth but the screen will flash and it only accepts touch events when the screen isn't flashing um, so you it's basically unusable um, so to fix this there's a problem with I believe the motherboard there's a component on the motherboard that is lost its connection. If I heat up the phone, the flashing gets slower. If I cool the phone down, the flashing gets faster. Um, and so I'm going to have to take off the glass front, extract the motherboard, and reflow some components on the motherboard. So the wires are on the left side here. We're going to be opening it from the right side up like that, like a book. Um, and there's some clips in here. So we're going to be putting these guys between clips kind of in these general locations and then we need to unclip the clips to get the whole screen out. All right, it took a lot of work, but I have the first one in. So now I'm gonna move my heat pack over to the top bit and try to get one in the top. Well, I was not able to get it in there but I did get one up top, so we're going to go to the bottom, and then we'll try this side, and we'll come back to that guy later. All right, I heated up my eye opener, and getting this guy in the bottom was pretty easy, so now we're working on the left-hand side. Okay, it took a lot of work, but I have these little guys in between the screen and the black plastic bezel all the way around. Um, and now it says there's 10 clips that you have to unclip, and it doesn't say exactly how you unclip them. So I'm going to be poking around in there and seeing if I can figure out how to unclip them without hopefully breaking them. But I have the screen separated from the back, and you know, it's bending you can see the bends when those things are stuck under there, so even though it's glass, it is slightly bendable. I haven't broken it yet. Famous last words. Right, to get between all of these things, they say there's some clips that need to pop out, and you need to cut any excess glue using these little guys sliding around. We have separated the screen from the rest of it. Now we need to unscrew this Torx 3 screw, take this little piece of metal off, and then unhook this ribbon connector to um, unhook the screen from the rest of the phone. All right, that's how you get the screen off. And these are the clips they're talking about, these little guys around here. All right, I'm trying to access the part of the motherboard that controls the screen here, so I can reflow it. And I've removed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws so far to try to get this metal plate up. And there's this little piece of sticky here that's hiding a screw in that corner. There's two screws hidden underneath these pieces of tape here. All right, so all those screws release the mid-frame, so now we can take the mid-frame off. Now we do also have to take the SIM card out and disconnect a whole bunch of things to be able to take the motherboard out. There's three screws that hold the motherboard in, here, here, and here.
All right, I have removed the connectors for both cameras, rear-facing cameras. The fingerprint reader, the camera flash, this is the connector for the headphone set up here, and I need to remove the headphone module entirely. Um, and according to the instructions, it just lifts out from the back here and then pulls back out. So there's the headphone module. I've already disconnected the battery. Um, and now we have to take these three screws out, and then I can lift this up and pull the whole motherboard out. Alrighty then, so this is a Google Pixel 5a motherboard and we are getting a problem where the screen gets colorful snow. Um, and it's not a screen problem, it's a graphics chip or connection on the motherboard type problem. I don't know what I need to reflow. Lots of things are hiding underneath this guy, and there's things on the other side of the circuit board hiding underneath something like this guy, which I'm not going to take off to reflow this. So I am going to hit this whole general area, anything around the graphics connection port, and this guy here, and the thing that's underneath it. Um, we're going to hit it with about 300 degrees centigrade, and I am hoping that I will reflow some solder somewhere that will fix the problem. This is kind of a last ditch effort. I've already recovered the data off of the phone. Um, so the phone is unusable. If I fix it, I fix it. If I don't fix it, I have a bad motherboard and I kind of already had a bad motherboard. All right, I have the flow level set extremely low here and the temperature at 300 centigrade. And we're just going to hold it like this. And I'm going to watch for evidence that I'm getting reflow on these tiny little capacitors and or resistors around here. So I see it kind of looks like the solder is reflowing on those conductors already. We're going to point it over at this side over here so I can see anything's happening there. so I can smell things heating up. So that's been three minutes. Feels like forever. I'm actually going to switch hands here and go from the other direction. Alright, that's been five minutes. So we're going to leave it for another five or ten minutes to cool down. All right, well, the screen is working now, but I can't guarantee it'll always work in the future. But the fact that it booted up and is running is a good sign. And both cameras still work as a bonus.